Catchy Blast Off by Jan Brett. This book is for J.H., stands for Joseph Hearn, my husband. We met flying together, and I've always loved to fly airplanes. Thanks to Dr. Sean Hearn, Sandia National Laboratories, Albuquerque, New Mexico, for his advice and suggestions. I also use the setting of Sandia Labs for the Star Lab. This, my story begins with Hedgie as he's cleaning some of the uh, outside equipment. My name is Hedgie, and I want to be an astronaut. I work at Star Lab on the cleanup crew. I've never flown on a spaceship, but I take care of the Zepidoppler rocket for the professor, the smartest scientist on Earth. He's in charge of outer space. Today, when I got to work, the professor looked worried. Hedgie, we have a problem, he said. Big sparkler is only sending up weak bursts of sparkles. If it stops altogether, there will be no more big sparkler and no more flowers. Big sparkler is on the tiny planet of Mikop. Alien tourists love to fly over it to watch it erupt and to take pictures of the strange flowers that depend on the sparkles for food. This is an emergency, Hedgie. Call the scientists to the lab. The scientist came in and the professor explained the problem. Big sparkler is failing. We need to go to Mikop and find out what's wrong. Odd fly there in the Zepidoppler, but it's too big to land on tiny Mikop. We need to build a rescue robot and a small rocket to go there. The scientist looked at the drawings on the blackboard and went to work. I tried to help. Soon everything was ready for the launch. Reporters came to hear about the mission. The professor explained, Big Sparkler isn't working properly. First, let me show you how it's supposed to work. He put a cork in the bottle of fizzy water. Pretend this is Big Sparkler. He shook and shook the bottle until the cork flew out and water soaked the reporters. And if you look at the notations on the blackboard, those all came from my, uh, my husband's son, Sean, who the book is dedicated to, and he's a scientist, so he helped me with those equations. I didn't come up with them myself. But now, Big Sparkler is sending up fewer and fewer sparklers. We think it may stop altogether, the professor said. How can you find out what's going on, a reporter asked. Meet Rescue Robot, the professor answered. He threw open the hatch to the rocket, but the pilot's seat was empty. We looked all around the lab. No robot. Then I opened the door to the cleanup crew closet. There he was, in sleeper mode. Spikes jam fast. Rescue Robot had probed too soon, gotten stuck, and crashed. The reporters looked at the professor. The professor looked at me and at Rescue Robot. Then he whispered in my ear, Hedgie, you are the only one who will fit into the rocket. How would you like to go to outer space? I nodded my head, yes! The professor turned to the reporters. A little change of plans, he told them. Meet Rescue Hedgie, no programming necessary. The professor looked at me. Come back and tell us what you find, Hedgie and we will fix the problem. The tiny planet Mikop got larger and larger before my eyes. The engine roared as the rocket settled onto Mikop's surface. I climbed out of the hatch. Big Sparkler's crater was in front of me. The flowers circling it had turned into little gray puffballs. Suddenly, I was startled by a, a low-flying saucer. It buzzed just as Big Sparkler struggled to erupt. A thin stream of glittery sparkles sifted through the air and dusted the passing ship. The tourists inside shrieked, oh, ow, oh, and threw things out of their portholes and into the crater. Clink, clank, clank. More squawks. Ah, oh, wow, awesome! 
Then I saw what was falling into the crater. Coins! I walked over and looked down. So that's what was wrong. Too many coins from all over the galaxy were filling up Big Sparkler. It needed to be cleaned out. I wanted to fix Big Sparkler for the professor before going home. But how could I drag all those years of coins out of the crater? It was impossible for one small hedgehog. Then I remembered the bottle of fizzy water and the cork. What if I became the cork for Big Sparkler? One small hedgehog might just be perfect for the job. I took a big jump before I was too scared. I landed in the opening and <gasps> puffed up my prickles to stop it completely. I told myself, just hold fast with every prickle. I felt Big Sparkler pushing against me. The more it pushed, the tighter I held on. <gasps> hold fast! Hold fast! Hold fast! Kaboom! Big Sparkler erupted with a tremendous roar and landed in a soft pile of sparkles. Giant flowers came alive right before my eyes. I raced back to the rocket and took off for home. I was making a victory orbit around Mickup when I saw the alien tourists. They were squealing with joy. Wow! Yippee! Awesome! Stellar! Instead of throwing good luck coins into Big Sparkler, they were trying to catch them flying through space. I hope it takes years for them to collect all those coins. Back at Star Lab, I was in for another surprise. I stood beside the professor as he said a few words to the reporters. Please meet our first hedgehog astronaut. The scientists at Star Lab proudly present Hedgy with the official astronaut star for his courage and cool thinking. I was an astronaut! The professor went on. Star Lab is grateful to everyone who worked to save Mickup and Big Sparkler. From astronaut first class hedging to our new high tech cleanup crew. Three cheers for Hedgie! Hooray!